Hi guys, welcome back to another Hugh Jeffries video and in this video we're going to be taking a look back at the iPhone 4 and every version of iOS that it can run. That's iOS 4, 5, 6 and iOS 7. So starting off we're going to be doing a quick boot up um, power on test here. I've got these all connected up to the charger to one USB hub and I went ahead and connected that at the same time. You can see iOS 4 boots up at around 30 seconds and iOS 5 and 6 follow on about 32 to 33 seconds. And then finally iOS 7 boots up 45 seconds later. Slowing to unlock these, they are uh, fully working and you can see here we have a 32 gig on iOS 4.2.1, a 16 gig on iOS 5.0.1, another 16 gig on 6.1.3 and one on iOS 7 which is also 16 gigs. The iPhone 4 comes in 8, 16 and 32 gigs of storage. It has an Apple A4 processor with 512 megabytes of RAM. It comes in either black or white and can run anywhere between iOS 4 to iOS 7. This was also the first iPhone to ship with a retina display along with a front facing camera which allowed for FaceTime. An interesting fact about the iPhone 4 is that the Black Edition was released in 2010 and 11 months later Apple decided to introduce the White Edition of the iPhone in 2011. The iPhone 4 was also one of the biggest design upgrades that the iPhone saw over its predecessor the iPhone 3GS. The iPhone itself featured a premium looking and feeling stainless steel and glass construction which felt great in the hand. Now it originally shipped with iOS 4 like I said, but as you can see iOS 4 is quite limited with no control center, no notification center, and the music app is called iPod. But iOS 4 did introduce some new features such as FaceTime, home screen backgrounds and multitasking. When iOS 5 rolled around it introduced the notification center, but still we had no control center as that didn't come to iOS 7, but we still had the old YouTube app as well as the old settings icon. iOS 5 introduced the new music app iOS 6 was more of a stability update to iOS with the only real differences being the removal of the YouTube app. Now by the time iOS 7 rolled around in 2013, iOS 7 introduced a whole entire redesigned interface which introduced Control Center which has to be one of the most useful functions of iOS. Everything was redesigned and it looks very similar to today's versions of iOS. But unfortunately it ran appalling on the iPhone 4 compared to the three previous versions of iOS. Now the first iPhone I ever owned was an iPhone 4. It was running iOS 5.1.1 and I updated it to iOS 7 and I have to say that it was a poor decision although I did continue to use that device for about a year. Now the iPhone 4 does have some common issues. Now these were addressed mostly in the iPhone 4S. These can be antenna issues, faulty home buttons and audio IC problems which causes the person on the end of the phone call not to be able to hear you. But in my case I have an iPhone 4 that has disturbed sound and this is a result of the audio IC. Take a listen. As you can see there it extremely distorts the sound and also makes it extremely louder than it should be. Either way, it is a working phone other than that issue. And on that note, this has been a Hugh Jeffries video and a look back at the iPhone 4 on every version of iOS. If you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button and consider checking out the iPhone playlist for more videos like this one. Also make sure you follow my social media, link will be in the description. That's all for this video and I'll catch you guys next time.